Harry's Wife, part 104.39. I want the titles. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I provide you with an article from the Hindustan Times. In the World News section, written by Millie Kasani. As always, I enable you to determine the veracity of the material. I provide you with the analysis. I've often explained to you that as part of understanding the way that a narcissist behaves, you have to be on board with what is known as the narcissist conditional asterisk. You can watch the video of that name to understand more, but essentially it means that when a narcissist says something, the obligations associated with that evaporate the moment it's said. Sometimes the narcissist will follow through on it if the narcissist determines that that's appropriate to do, but often doesn't. Indeed, in some instances, the narcissist will do a 180, a complete vault fast, and carry out something different. Promises don't become executed. Things that happen in the future don't come to pass. Stated intentions evaporate into the ether. The narcissist can face all ways at once, like some whirring dervish we weather vane in a storm. Harry's wife is no different. Her narcissist will accord her to say, a at 9am, B at 9.05, go back to A at 9.10, and then at 9.15 deny both A and B and say C. It can be mind-boggling to those that are not initiated into the world of the narcissist and don't understand it, but this is done to ensure that mobility, that lack of accountability, the freedom from constraint to enable the narcissist to secure the prime aims. The article tells us, Harry's wife is now clinging to her royal title. Harry's wife has had a dramatic change of heart regarding titles, a royal expert claimed. Harry's wife is now keen to cling to her royal title, the Duchess of Sussex, a royal expert claimed. Well, pardon me for observing, but I hadn't seen any real evidence that she has actually not wanted to retain her royal title since she continues to use it when she's introduced by people and it appears upon misses and messages and declarations and proclamations that she makes. The article continues, During Prince Harry and Harry's wife's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, she had dismissed the importance of royal titles. At the time, she has said, all the grandeur surrounding this stuff is an attachment I don't personally have. I've been a waitress, an actress, a princess, no you haven't, a duchess. I've always still just been Harry's wife, right? I've been clear on who I am, independent of all that stuff. And the most important title I'll ever have is Mom. I know that. Now, of course, that was stated at the time to make it seem like she wasn't preoccupied with the title that she had received from the royal family. That was done to remove accountability. It was done to provoke the royal family by basically going, I don't care for your title. It was an attempt to manage the facade by saying, oh, look, you know, I'm not one of these stuffy royals. I'm down to earth and relatable Harry's wife. And I'm a mum. I'm, I'm a mum. I keep telling you that so that you'll all believe that it's true that I am indeed a mum. And in that moment, in the interview, her narcissism directed her to come out with this twaddle, which of course is essentially a lie, because we know that the title is very important to her. Why? Narcissists love status. Not all, because some just can't attain it. Others want it, but can't get it. Others get it, and my goodness me, they want to hold on to it. Whether it is executive foliage numerator, i.e. they count leaves on the trees in the local park, or whether it's the case of them being CEO, CFO, CTO, see you next Tuesday, whatever it might be, whether it's the Duke of Pink Pancakes, His Royal Highness of Arsing Around, the Duchess of Delusion, whether it's joint chair on looking at ways to impose industrial beige on industrial upcoming nations in Africa, narcissists love titles because titles afford status and status is then utilized to triangulate with victims for the purposes of, of course, control and fuel, character traits and residual benefits. So Harry's wife, of course, her narcissism loved the fact that she became a duchess because that enabled her to assert control over the Buckingham Palace staff by basically saying to them, I'm a duchess, you're not. You're here to serve me. 
you're meant to do what I want. Thus, it provides her with the basis through triangulation to assert control. It allows her to draw fuel from people's response as a consequence of this position and status. It allows her access to character traits. And, of course, the residual benefits afforded as a consequence of that position, meaning looking for freebies. Getting access to opportunities. After all, would anybody be interested in her if she was plain old wife of somebody else? No. Would anybody be interested in if she was the person prior to being Harry's wife? No. She's a mediocre mattress actress that ran a semi-successful blog who is utterly boring. And the only reason, the only reason the world has any interest in her is nothing to do with her bananatarianism, her bleeding heart, her supposed caring for a sick and dying world. It's nothing to do with being an eco-warrior. It's nothing to do with being a mum. The only reason that people are interested in her is because of who she married. That's why she is Harry's wife. And therefore, by marrying Harry's wife, or rather by marrying Harry and becoming Harry's wife, and gaining a title, that title is hugely important to her. However, she stated that she wasn't interested in it, but then there appears to have been a change of mind. Returning to the article, but following her conversation with Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, Harry's wife has changed her mind, royal expert, for it is he, Neil Sean said. Neil Sean suggested that Harry's wife has since had a dramatic change of heart regarding titles. Harry and Harry's wife are very, very keen to cling on to those royal titles. After much deliberation, Harry's wife decided that the titles would be a good thing, not just for her, but for both her children too, Neil Sean said. I would suggest it didn't take any deliberation whatsoever. She's a narcissist and narcissists love titles. The article continues. Harry's wife became very friendly with senior members of the monarchy. I think it means became. Predominantly princesses Eugenie and Beatrice. After this, Harry's wife realised how useful a title can be, particularly when you want to move in the correct circles, the royal expert said. Residual benefit. That is the reason why they want to clutch hold of titles. It's really down to the fact that after befriending Beatrice and Eugenie, she saw how useful these titles are to them. Their father, Prince Andrew, had to push very hard to make sure his children got those titles, he said. I would suggest that the influences of Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice were minimal. Harry's wife, having an obsession already with the royal family, although she denied it, knows the benefit of a title, and certainly her narcissism does also. This, of course, this supposed flip-flopping, isn't actually genuine. She's always wanted the title, and she always wants it. Of course, where it suits her, she'll sow the hypocrisy saying, oh, I'm not really bothered about it. But that is, in fact, a lie. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.